We also spoke to a couple of extras from the film who played surrogates, and this is what they had to say. I'm Shay Michaela. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Stephanie Davis. And so I, I gather you're surrogates. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, we're we doing some work lunch. and yeah. we had some lunch and now we're going to go on hopefully we'll uh, have a scene, a good scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how's it been for you? Is this uh, one of your first films or you've been doing a lot of these? No, we've done a bunch of them. Yeah? Not a couple. Where, 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 are you, where are you guys located? Where are you from? I'm about 50 minutes out in Milford. I'm from Bradford. Bradford? Yes. Massachusetts? Yes. How come I don't know it? <laughs> it's, it's part of Haverhill. Okay, gotcha. Wow. So what, what, what did you have to do so far? What's Combination of things. I mean, just pretty much walking. Some people are driving. Some people are um, just, just looking for, like pedestrians. Uh -huh. But we're robot pedestrians, so we can't pay attention to anything that's going on. We just walk. So do you have a certain like robot pedestrian walk that... It's very, it's just very... You just can't pay attention to all the crazy No, we don't pay attention to anything. Around. So when there's tons of like car, car scenes and car chases and helicopters, it's normal for us. It's just like, okay, cool. another day. <laughs> we don't even have cell phones. I mean, we don't care for human interaction either, I, I take it, because we're just very... Well, a bunch of just people randomly walking all over the street. No, I see that you guys are walking around. Do you, you have the walkie-talkie or something? Are you on call or something like no, that? No, no. It's people in the cars are. So oh. they know when, when to, when when to, to go. go and when to stay. So what, uh, um, this is fun, right? Uh, what, anything else you, that you've uh, worked on that you want to talk about? Or? I mean, besides this and doing different scenes from around here, I did the game plan that was in Foxville, Massachusetts. And just basically here, we, you know, just doing scenes, being pedestrians, <laughs> being innocent bystanders. I don't really have anything else to add. And how do you like Lynn? It's just, it's great. different. It's different. It's very different. It, it, I mean, it's, it's a, I've never been here before, but it's very different. It's like a city, but it's not quite a city, and a lot of people with a lot of things, not a lot to do, I take it. A lot of people just hanging out, and... Oh, they got plenty to do, except when the movie's coming to town, then yeah. they want to see it, right? And they're excited. <laughs> they're just hanging out. If you ever want to find out more about a film that's going on, a great person to talk to is the publicist, and Lynn Cam TV did just that when we spoke to Ernie. He had a lot to tell us, so we want you to get a chance to hear what he had to say as well. Hello, Lynn. Good afternoon, Lynn. My name's Ernie Malik. I'm working on the movie Surrogates. Uh, I handle publicity for the film, and we are on uh, Andrew Street, I believe, downtown Lynn, staging part three of this motorcycle helicopter chase. Um, actually, one of your native sons, Jack Noseworthy, plays the gentleman on the motorcycle. Most of the work will be done by a stunt double named Matt Taylor, and uh, this is a chase involving the FBI. They have um, identified Noseworthy's character. Strickland as uh, being a possible uh, perpetrator in a couple of murders that opened the story. And uh, Willis, uh, Bruce Willis plays one of the FBI agents. He's in the helicopter that is chasing Noseworthy's character uh, who is on a motorcycle. Uh, we have been filming on a couple of streets in Lynn here. Uh, this is day three, the final day of filming in Lynn. The uh, sequence ends here in an alley right off Andrew Street. And then we will pick up some of the action later in Hopedale uh, for about four days of filming next week into the following week. And uh, for those that live here in town and know the town very well, you know that we will be cheating it, driving up uh, wrong way streets and this and that, and uh, we will be looking for those mistakes when the movie comes out in theaters. And uh, how did you pick Lynn to, 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 as a location? Uh, we stumbled upon Lynn. They were looking for actually these streets. Lynn has been very accommodating. Uh, a lot of towns wouldn't allow us to do what we're doing here, close down streets during the business week. Many times uh, scenes like this are shot uh, on weekends when traffic is uh, less voluminous. But Lynn has been very welcome, as uh, many uh, suburbs of Boston uh, have been to our film. Worcester, um, Lawrence, uh, very, very open arm welcomes from your communities. And so this has got a gritty look to it, this, uh, this town of yours, uh, compared to the, uh, the allure of Boston. Um, Boston is the surrogate world. This is the human world. Uh, there is that distinction in our story. So the grittiness of Lynn, um, I think, uh, is what attracted the filmmakers, the uh, production designer, the director, uh, and our location manager. And a couple of weeks ago, we actually found another location by accident that worked well for us. We turned a storefront um, down on Willow Street, I think, uh, into a, an electronic store. Excellent. And uh, is Bruce Willis here? No, Bruce Willis worked a couple of weeks ago in that sequence, but uh, these scenes here, uh, he is not in, but he will be in Hopedale when we shoot uh, the, the continuation of this chase down there. 
And this is the uh, so what they call the second production crew? Can well, it's you, called second unit. Uh, second unit is the stunt action unit. Uh, the gentleman who was directing this is uh, a, an Englishman named Simon Crane, who's got a long list of credits, both as a stunt coordinator and the graduate. The natural uh, progression is to become a second unit director. So you stage sequences like this, working with uh, you know uh, dozens of stunt people. We've got many, many stunt drivers in the sequence here, about 30 cars that uh, at least we'll be shooting on the North Street a couple of days ago participating in the sequence. And um, we've got the, the key stunt double is a gentleman named Matt Taylor, who is a third generation Hollywood veteran. And um, uh, our key stunt cameraman is a guy named Rick uh, Miller. And uh, when we were staging the scene, uh, and some of this footage you may be seeing right now, uh, when you see the camera following Matt Taylor on the bike, that's a guy named Rick Miller shooting at from a bike literally seven feet behind him. And uh, you think uh, after this, you think Lynn will be used for more films? Yeah. Well, if, if it's up to Lynn, yes. Lynn is, uh, as I said, they've been very accommodating. And how it works, everything in life is word of mouth. So these filmmakers will go back and the word will get back. Uh, you know, First of all, it's up to the Massachusetts Film uh, Office. That's their job. When Hollywood comes in to scout for potential uh, sites for a movie, they can come to Lynn and say, now the surrogate's shot here for four days, this is what they did, uh, this is the cooperation that you got from this community. And the cooper cooperation has been uh, tremendous because they allow us to use their police force uh, to shut the streets down. They are allowing us to use major thoroughfares during uh, working hours to stage these sequences. And it is exciting for the locals because they have probably never seen anything like this before. Uh, but it takes a lot of coordination to do that and a lot of cooperation. And Lynn has been very cooperative. It would not surprise me that uh, films do come back to Lynn. Excellent. Today is the last day in Lynn. Uh, we've got Hopedale to go. And uh, I believe after that, then we will be on the sound stage pretty much to finish the movie, which is based in Woburn. Excellent. Or Woburn, however you locals uh, it. How does it work with the uh, stunt actors? They all have to stand around all day here? for. Well, that's... The nature of the business is uh, there's a lot of waiting involved, uh, particularly when you're doing uh, a sequence like this, which does have its, its risks, uh, moving vehicles at high speed. Um, safety factor is a uh, key. Um, everybody connected to this. Uh, even cars that just drive past that have to get back into a position, the safety factor of uh, making sure nobody's in the way, nobody gets bumped, nobody gets hit, nobody gets hurt. Uh, so uh, there is a lot of waiting around. Business. Uh, our catchphrase actually in Hollywood is hurry up and wait. So, And what's with the saying? Ellie looks really fixed up here. What's, what's uh, yes, this is, as I said, uh, the uh, vehicular chase ends in the alley and then uh, Jack Noseworthy's character of Strickland jumps off the bike or maybe the bike even goes down the stairs and he winds up, then it becomes a foot chase with the police and him. And uh, as I said, uh, ultimately we will take this to Hopedale and finish up the sequence there, which involves a big helicopter crash and um, uh, our hero gets Getting wounded in the uh, in the um, in the process. Hmm. This is Noseworthy's bike right this here. Is. Take a look. Sweet. I've seen just about every type of camera and camera mount here imaginable. Uh, pretty high budget uh, film we got here, right? Uh, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. I will not share that figure with you, but yes, this is uh, this is a major Hollywood motion picture. Uh, two units working at the same time. One is shooting in Boston, our main unit right now, uh, and each has about a, a, a crew number with extras of about 175 people. Uh, and I believe this unit here will, will I think it's a 10-day sequence uh, we're doing here, and then I think second unit is finished. Now, is it, uh, I see those uh, are those Boston police cars or Lynn police cars. I uh, know they're Boston, and uh, but these are what we call picture cars. These are these were not on loan from the Boston Police Department. These are cars that we, the renter, buy and then we dress them uh, to look uh, like they are real police cars with. Uh, the Boston name on it, I'm sure that means that we have the full cooperation of the Boston Police Department to use their logo and their name in the film. There are many times you'll see a film, you'll know where the movie was shot, and it says Metropolitan Police on it. That's the dead giveaway that they didn't get the cooperation from the local law enforcement people. Now, will Lynn be Lynn, or is it going to be Boston? Uh, no, this will be Boston. This will be Boston.